Hi, welcome back to the Arcade Repair Tips video series. Today we're going to talk about drilling holes in plexiglass. Now you say, why would I want to drill holes in plexiglass? Well, there are many reasons, but probably the most popular would be for a control panel. Let's say that you just put a brand new overlay on a Miss Pac-Man game. And it will look great until a few weeks after people's uh, greasy hands have been playing on it. Well, what you can do is get a piece of plexiglass at your local store. Now, you can buy them online pre-made, but I can tell you how you can save a lot of money by doing it yourself. So what you're going to do is you can get it cut for free at either Lowe's or Home Depot. You tell them the size that you want, but you're going to have to drill the holes. Even some glass places in town will give you, cut you a piece of plexi really reasonable, but most of the time they're not real keen on drilling the holes. The problem is this, that... Uh, when you use a normal drill bit, like this one, and as you cut into plexi, it will work 9 out of 10 times just fine, no problems, easily cut a hole, and you can use it. We've done it many times. The problem is that that 1 out of 10 times, it will crack the plexi. And it doesn't take much. And then once a little crack starts, it seems like, and you seem like you've ruined your whole project. Well, today I want to introduce you to a step drill bit that we recently purchased, and it has worked wonders, and from some of the guys that have been using this for years have always told me, you need to get a step drill bit. And uh, so we'll talk a little bit about what that is here in just a minute. Okay, let's start off by a couple of traditional ways that some of you guys might be drilling holes in plexi. And one way that a lot of people like is to put a piece of wood under it so that as you drill, you actually go into the wood. And that's okay with a spare piece of wood. Again, though, I tell you, it'll work great most of the time. But you don't want to be on hole number 20 out of the whole plexi uh, control panel. Or here's a, a real realistic situation, like our main machine. When we want to cover all that, and we have four players, six buttons, four joysticks, other buttons, and holes to... Uh, hold it down, and I swear it'd be the last hole I drill would crack, and it'll just go all the way across. But this is one method you could use. Put a block of wood under there and drill into the wood. Another thing is this stuff that uh, called painter's tape that everybody, you know, we use this a lot, especially when we're painting stuff. Good stuff because it doesn't stick. You can put it on and then take it off. It doesn't leave a residue like the Super Auction uh, stickers that they put on their games. Right? But you can put that down and then drill, but a lot of times that covers up the hole or the marking that you put where you want it. So here's my point. You're doing a couple steps, whereas with the step drill bit, you only need one. Let me introduce you to the step drill bit. Now here is one. They come in different sizes, and we'll show, Jonathan will put on there the different sizes. The one that I like is a little bit more around and a little bit bigger round because it would do, say, a buttonhole, which you need about an inch and an eighth to do. Um, or an inch, one inch is the size of the button. If you cut it a little bit bigger, it allows you to get in there a little easier. This one's a little smaller, more like for control panel holes or like the, that hold the joystick down, stuff like that. But it, it'll do what I want to show you. It's called a step drill because it goes in steps. Instead of needing like different sizes with this guy and having to swap them out, this one bit will do a lot of different things and a lot of different sizes. So I'm just going to show you real quick. It's pretty much effortless. I want to drill a hole. If you'll notice that it's not completely round. It has kind of a cut air here. They, this also will cut into metal. A lot of different uses, but I like it. It's not specifically designed for plexiglass cutting, but let me just show you how great it works. We're just going to cut. As it goes through, I'll feel it here in just a second. See? I heard it, and I felt it drop. Pop, pop. As I go, it dropped another set. Another, another, another. So I can stop at any time, but what you end up with is a perfectly drilled hole right there. No cracking at all. Effortless on my end, but yet no cracking. So step drill bits, very good for that. 
You also may notice that, probably you can see this in the video, is that I left the film on here. You might, I don't always use, leave that film on when you're drilling, and that helps. But even with the film off, which is more likely to crack, I won't have any problems with a set drill bit. Also, here's one I, I dare you to try with a regular drill. I can go way out here and drill without cracking. Even with no, no pressure on, I'm not cracking. I mean, with the bend of it and everything, I'm not cracking that. And that's pretty neat. I do want to say that if you're going to use the more traditional method like we have in the past, that you do not start off with the bigger bit that is probably about the size of the screw you need. Start off with a small pilot hole. So you can actually start here and then work your way up. Again, though, the thing about the the step drill bit is it does that for you. It has a pilot starter and then it gets bigger as it goes. Um, again, um, you know, this is a little bit more expensive though, probably as much as a set of these. But if you look online, uh, you can find some good deals and stuff. And of course, I'm sure you get kind of what you pay for. This one right here was about $18. Okay, the one that I want to get is a little bit wider because like I said, this one's good for the holes for joysticks and stuff, but we really need a bigger one to do the buttons. And you guys have seen us drill buttons before. We use a hole saw. Even that, uh, there's been several times we've cracked plexi before doing that. You have to be really careful. This takes care of that. So if we get a bigger uh, step drill bit, we won't have to worry about cracking the plexi or you can actually drill the plexi on the control panel or on your piece of wood. You could drill both holes at one time. And that would be kind of kind of neat to do. Anyway, we hope that you've learned something today, another tool in your toolbox or a different method that you might want to try sometime. Uh, whatever it is, whatever method you choose, just get out there in your game room and, and do it. Anyway, thank you for watching the Arcade Repair Test video series. Still in high depth.